everyone, I'm Ava and welcome to my beauty pantry where it's all about positive aging and keeping it real. Today I'll be making conductive gel using my fresh aloe vera. Stay with me. Welcome back and thank you for joining me today on our little venture of making conductive gel with aloe vera. Fresh aloe vera directly from the plant that I cut this morning. I've washed the aloe leaves and now I'm letting the gooey, I don't know if you can see this, there's a gooey sap oozing out and it's called uh, aloe latex and the aloe latex lives between the aloe gel and the skin and it's a yellow gooey yuck stuff it needs to come out it's got a quite well I think it's got a, a bit of an offensive smell to it as well and it has also been referred to as a type of poison I don't know how accurate that is because back in the day they actually used this if you were constipated. So I'm not sure if it is a poison. But anyway, we don't want this on our skin. So we're letting this ooze out. I'll, let the, I'll sit the leaves upright for at least half an hour. Now I don't know if you can see in the bowl at the moment, but there is a little bit of oozing happening Actually, there's quite a bit of oozing happening in there, so that's good. I'll just leave these sit upright, like I said, for about 30 minutes, and then we'll come back and have a look at how it's going. Okay, so this is after an hour of letting all this latex drain out. I uh, hope you can see it in there. Now I'm just going to wash the uh, leaves again, and I'll be back. Okay, so the leaves have been rinsed uh, thoroughly. Make sure that there's no um, latex around there anymore. Now I'm going to just cut the gel into pieces. Get rid of that. And I've got a little container here of water. What I like to do just as an extra measure. You don't have to do this. I just like to do this. I'm going to put my bits of gel in the water upright. And I'm going to let that sit for another few hours. I just want to make sure that all the latex is out of here. So you don't have to do this though, but this is just an extra thing that I like to do. So I'll, I'll be back in a few hours. Okay, back again. So we've let this sit for a few hours in the water. I'm going to take it out. The water actually doesn't look too bad at all. A little bit more seepage in there, but I mean, I don't think we're going to worry about that. We'll just go ahead. You can leave it overnight if you like to stick it in the fridge and you know, leave it overnight if you want. But we'll just keep going now. I'll just remove the spiky sides. And now I'll just cut off the end bit on this one too. It's not happy with that. Now I will remove one side of the skin. I find it easier just to use my hands because if I use a knife, I'm probably likely to cut my fingers. Now 
You might like to use a knife. You might find it easier. Oh, just a bit stubborn there. And your hands get very slippery with the, with this, so you need to be really careful if you're using a knife. Okay. Now I've got, just got a little plastic scraper. I'm just going to sort of smash the gel a bit like this and then just remove and scrape it from the skin. out any bits of skin that's still attached. It doesn't matter if there's a few tiny little bits left because it's going to go through the strainer. slimy mess. I'll just take this off. I'm going to put this in the strainer. Okay. That all goes into the strainer. Now the reason why I'm putting it in, I'll just clean this up. The reason why I'm putting it in the strainer is because I want it, I don't want to blitz it. Now you could blitz it if you wanted to and it'll turn out very runny. So I like to put it through the strainer. It takes a little bit longer, but I think the results for what we want are better. Now you'll see shortly why. And we'll just let that sit for a few minutes and we'll come back to it. Okay, so I've just been letting this sit for, oh, it's been about five minutes now, and I just thought I'd show you what's going on underneath the strainer. So here you go. Look at that. It's like some sort of horror movie happening. All that gel is coming through, and it's lovely and thick. I know it takes a little bit longer doing it this way, but I'm okay with that. Look at that. So you can, you can stand here and you can help it along, or you can just let it sit in the strainer and let it, let it sort of do its own thing for a while and keep checking on it every, I don't know, 10 minutes or so. If you're just going to let it sit there and work its magic, it'll probably take an hour or, I don't know, maybe longer. I'm never that patient though. So I'll just continue to do this and come back in a little while. Okay, so I've let this drain through the sieve. I think we're just about at the end. I have helped it along occasionally by giving it a bit of a stir. There's a little bit left in here. Now, I just normally throw that out. For me, it's not worth keeping because I grow a ton of aloe anyway. You might like to keep it, and if you do, then just blitz it and throw it in this mixture if you want. It will make it a bit more runny, but Oh, if you, you know, sometimes it's better not to waste, isn't it? 
Okay, so I'm just going to scrape it. And that'll do. Now, I just want to show you, I, I don't know if you can see just how thick this, this is. I mean, it's magic, really. Look at that. Beautiful, thick gel. And with this, I'm going to now make it conductive. So first of all, I'm going to add a little bit of salt. Now I know when I do my aloe and I use two leaves, I get a half a cup of the aloe gel. So I know I'm going to add a quarter, sorry, an eighth of a teaspoon of salt to the mix. This is a little um, a little spoon that I got with my vitamin C powder from The Ordinary and I didn't measure it out and it is about an eighth of a um, teaspoon. So that's very handy for me. So I've added that. Now I'm going to add vitamin C powder because I want to add a bit of a preservative otherwise if we don't add the preservative it'll only last about a week in the fridge and you've got a lot here this is going to last you much longer than what you think so we want a shelf life of probably two months so I'm going to pop in a quarter of a teaspoon of my vitamin C powder that I got from The Ordinary. If you don't have a vitamin C powder, a vitamin C tablet, crushed up, will do the same job. So two little spoons of the vitamin C powder go in here. Add that to the mix. And I also like to add glycerin. Now glycerin is great for extra moisture. You could add hyaluronic acid at this point, but I prefer to add glycerin because it's very cost effective and it is a super great product. It's widely used in cosmetics and it's an excellent hydrator. It adds moisture to the skin and it smooths the skin, so it's ideal. And it's generally safe for all skin types. Glycerin works as a humectant. Once it's absorbed, it can get to where it's needed, replenishing the moisture your skin has lost. So that's why I add this little magic product in. Now I'm going to add into my half a cup, of aloe gel, I'm going to add a teaspoon of the glycerin. You can do so much with glycerin. I've added some mineral water into a spritz bottle and I've added into this spritz bottle a quarter of a teaspoon of the glycerin. Give it a good shake and it it's a good um, spray for when your aloe dries out on your face while you're doing your microcurrent. I find that this gel doesn't dry out as quick as store-bought gel so I don't really need to spritz my face very often but if you find you do mineral water on its own is great or mix it with a little bit of glycerin for that extra glide is great. Really, really works well. So I'm going to mix this all together. And you can actually see how thick this gel really is. Now if you were to put the gel in the blender and blitz it, it's going to be runny. It's not going to have this beautiful thick consistency. The only thing with doing it this way is it, it can be quite, I'm going to put my hand in here to show you, quite stringy. 
but that's easy fixed you just break it up as you're using it if you don't have vitamin C or if you don't have a vitamin C tablet you could add a few drops of lemon juice to this and that's it that's the gel that I make now I'm, I'll, I usually just put it in a jar and store it in the fridge always store it in the fridge so you could see how thick that was and then I just put it into a little bowl like this you know just a little bit of a night time when I'm going to do my fopushi I'll just pour a little bit in there and uh, you put it up on with a brush and away you go so that's that's my aloe gel well that's it for today's video I hope you found it helpful and uh, if you did give it a like and don't forget to subscribe I look forward to seeing you in my next video. Until then, have a great day. Take care. Bye for now.